Hermosillo, the city of the sun, of grilled meat and warm and memorable sunsets. Good morning, warriors. Today begins this adventure full of new challenges, paths, victories, as well as new landscapes, food that will surprise your palates, new people who together with you will make this extreme adventure a before and after in the history of Sonora Radio. The first stage will test the speed, agility, and intuition of the drivers. It will also test their ability to cross a narrow terrain that will cloud the vision of the competitors with dust. They will have to dodge cacti and paths filled with vegetation and thorns. Everyone is ready to start this adventure. Good luck, Desert Warriors! The Sonora Desert is a desert that I'm actually kind of familiar with. I've been down here a few times. This is my third Sonora Rally. Oh, it's beautiful out there. You know, I love the scenery. You know, the trees with the yellow on them right now coming out in spring. It's really, really cool. Everything is awesome here, you know, and it's been a great experience. I'm so glad that uh, we've been able to be a part of it. You know, overall, the course is good. A few tricky spots, but with four days left, uh, we're still looking good. So we're going to keep our hopes up and push as hard as we can tomorrow to make up uh, two minutes. And hopefully on day three, we, we land near the front to gain some bonus time opening. Toby Bryce, a champion by nature, is backed up by his numbers and will undoubtedly fight until the end to continue being at the top of the leaderboard in the rankings. Kevin Benavides, a Latin American legend, he has returned in record time after his injury in the Abu Dhabi desert and came back strong and thirsty for victory. Skyder House is the current Sonora Rally champion and with no doubt knows this desert and its complications better than anyone else. The Galician Tosha Sharina gave the surprise dominating the stage, being fast and agile, beating Daniel Sanders by 6 seconds and Pablo Quintanilla in third place by 41 seconds. Nasser Saleh not only hangs an Olympic medal around his neck, he's also the current Dakar champion. The desert always becomes his best ally. Only the Sonoran Desert will know if he negotiates with it or with Sebastian Loeb, six-time winner in Mexico, who is a living legend of this sport and continues to write new chapters in his own history without losing his thirst for victory. We all know that Nassar won the first place in the leaderboard owned by Sebastian Loeb, witnessing a true battle between giants. Thank you. 
happy to get back into racing it was much more of a tricky stage than I was thinking to be honest a lot of change of direction and not really easy to see the tracks but all in all I feel pretty good it's definitely a tricky first stage there's a lot of uh, you know tricky navigation out there in the flats and hard to find the right piece so it made a mistake around kilometer 50 but so did a lot of the other guys and Cansadora, pero bueno, contento de haberla hecho. Vamos a repasar el auto y a seguir para mañana. Sí, varias plantas, está muy angosto el camino y, y bueno, muy, muy finito para pasar. Looking forward to getting in the more open desert because today was still quite technical. Uh, but yeah, bike feels good and happy to be here racing in Mexico. It's the first time that I'm here and it's, it's a kind of curious because I'm original from Guatemala. So it's the first time that I'm here. It's the last continent that, that I ride in. So it's very nice. I love it so far. Dusty, a little bit dusty, but it's nice. It was a good uh, stage and uh, we win the stage and uh, it was the uh, beginning of the Sonora Rally and uh, yeah, uh, we are looking really uh, for tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a long day for everybody. Uh, we open and uh, we try to do our best. The sun set behind the mountains. The warriors have tested the desert for the first time. Everyone has done an incredible job. Rest warriors and continue enjoying Hermosillo. Tomorrow you will face a new battle.